Wolves versus Liverpool. Nuno versus Klopp. Two of the league's most tactically astute managers. Let's discuss the tactics behind both these great teams. Nuno's Wolves typically line up in a 3-4-3. It's an intense, quick passing style with wing-backs key to their attack. We've spoken about Cody. He's the one, he's the driving force. I think he's a terrific player. He's a good communicator, good use of the ball, and again, changes the play. Can see a picture quickly, but for me, he does a fantastic job defensively as well, organising the back three and even the wing backs as well. If your wing backs are going to go flying forward, it's a very offensive way of playing. It allows a lot of players to go forward, but he needs a protection for that back three, and even the, the outside centre backs get involved. So it's a shrewd way of playing and that balances off the team nicely. I think Jimenez is a wonderful striker. He gives them that focal point and then players can, can just move off him. Traore at the moment has become another player. I certainly wouldn't want to defend against him, I know that, with his pace and his power. And they don't play down in straight lines. They're always coming off their lines and that's why they're flexible and they're difficult to play against. It's Traore and it's Wolves back in the game. When I watch Wolves, I, it excites me. I like the way they play defensively and uh, with the ball. They play through the pitch quickly, and I think that's the problem they're causing people this season. Liverpool usually line up in a 4-3-3 formation. They always sit with a deep line midfield player and two eights. The two wide forwards really uh, flexible, and both fullbacks, where they push so high up the pitch, and that's a problem to everyone. As soon as they lose the ball, they press you high and hard and they're trying to force you to play long balls, to give it away because they, they'll back their centre-backs and their holding player in midfield to have read the game and win the ball back as quick as they possibly can. It gives the confidence for those full-backs to fly forward even more and that's the key to Liverpool's uh, defending. Alexander Arnold flashes it in. They're not overly offensive and they're not too defensive either. They've got a nice balance. They've got the flexibility to a couple of them to make good movements, but there's always Fabinho or if it's Henderson sitting in front of the back, uh, the two centre backs. And uh, the balance of it is, is, is exceedingly good. Salah and, and Mane's movement is exceptional. And they're a different side, they're a better side when Firmino's playing. Firmino will come and play deep and drop in and Mane and Salah become the striking pair in behind him and they've got that movement off to a tee. Mo Salah! Beautifully done! You know, you just know! Klopp's got the balance of his team absolutely spot on. Well, I expect a really good game, really exciting game. I think it's a nice balance to it, being Wolves being at home. Trying to go be on the front foot, trying to give Liverpool as many problems as they can. But, you know, you do that at your peril against Liverpool and I, I probably see Liverpool just shading it.